Today we're going to be using a mon I've been ducking for quite some time, and that is King Gambit. I don't know, I just lack confidence in it, but when I'm facing it, it's a problem. So I don't know what I'm talking about. We'll see, right? But uh, this team was passed to me by Stormzone. Again, I have quite a few teams. Again, link is in the description if you'd like to use it. And uh, let's get this party started with Stevi124. Um, where are we at? Divi Decay. Okay, 1711. Um, depending on how the battles are going, uh, we may aim for 1800 in this live. Yeah, so I've, I've been ran up on by this Flamingo Choice card before, so I'm very wary of that thing. Uh, Bullet, Mr. Um, this is very amazing. He's very weak to T spikes, so I want to get those up pronto. Um, another thing that he struggles with is my Volcarona. Um, he does have this thing. I do have Grass, uh, the Gear Drain. Volcarona is very good here, so we're gonna aim to um, eviscerate him with Volcarona at some point. Uh, Breedlin's actually also another annoying demon for him to deal with. Uh, the solution to Loom would be... I don't want to think about this because yeah, I, have, yeah, I have quite a few things that he struggles with. Um, King Gambit is a problem too. So what we'll do is... Um, what, what am I struggling with? His hazards for sure, but I'll be more of a mortal spin. Uh, so I'm very surprised he's Ching, Ching Loud. Um, I guess he's like, well, that could have, um, I could have, he's going for the luck. It's like, okay, I'm just gonna go for the, the hex. <clears throat> he's clearly specs. He brought me down to my side. Actually, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, maybe he doesn't, that's not specs. Uh, King Gambit doesn't take that well. I, did, I thought King Gambit was a beast. I'm actually life orb. I didn't know that. Uh, King Gambit, because of the flamingo, um, I mean it's useful, so I won't say that. But uh, what sword is this? Then what? Volcarona. I mean not Volcarona. Then how do I want to win this? Uh, Corviknight comes in. So we're gonna do a Swords Dance first, because Corviknight should come in. If this has Body Press, he uses it. Uh, we opt for, um, what's his face? Um, Phantom, he does have Body Press. We actually don't care for the Choice Scarf in this game. Um, he goes to Gargankel, or whatever fuck this is. And this is important to destroy, because if this goes, then my my Dragapult just has a field day. So I took his leftovers. He likely want to get hazards up. Uh, but as I said, thinking long term, Dragapult would destroy him if that goes. So um, it's not the end of the world. As a Quiver Dance would go a long way. Hmm. A couple ways I can go about this. So obviously, his Volcarona is now in. Uh, I'm not overly concerned about Volt because I can always go to Breathe him and just rock to knock him. I want Toxic Spikes if I can get them. Rocks are sufficient. I guess I could be getting greedy. Volcarona, I mean, um, Dragapult doesn't need to be at full for any particular reason. And plus, he won't know if I'm physical or special. So he goes to Fiery Dance, gets a special. So he should go to the Gargle. Um, yeah, which gives me the free U turn. And I get the Breloom in to do whatever I want, if that's what I want to do. Uh, this may have rocks. And I can't Mortal Spin versus Corviknight. So I don't want to give him hazards for my Breloom Sash to be broken. Because that makes Volcarona a little bit more of a problem. Uh, it'll require a bit of prediction. So uh, what I'll do is just bullet seed hard. I should just leave this in expecting me to spore, but the only thing that can come in on bullet seed, please kill this. Fuck Loom, I really needed you to knock that out. That's really bad. Not really bad, but if I knocked it out, I would have so much leverage right now. Um, so, so, so much leverage. The fact that he survived means I have to somehow mortal spin. 
um, and he gets the, the this free switching. What is this scrappy Tangled Feet co-star? And can this even touch my um, gold angle? Because I assume he just Brave Bird, right? And what I'm concerned about now is the Volk. Man, that's a really big. Uh, no, I don't regret bullet seating. If I knock out a Gargant, if I get, if I don't get the worst possible roll, I'm in a phenomenal position. He can't ever get rocks up, which means my loom sash can never be broken. Um. So in this, I'll have to set up before him. I have to set up my Volk first, and I can win. Uh. So that's a question of what do I set Volk up versus Corbin has body press. I mean, he could have an attacking move. Uh, I mean, he could have Brave Bird. I mean, I think I know what I can do because I can ter terrestrialize Fairy, eat the Brave Bird, and then Quiver Dance and destroy his resume, remainder of his team. Um, so I'll have to beat him before he beats me. I'll go uh, Gold Angle. If he has something to hit me, I'd be very surprised. Close combat. I didn't. All oh, right, this shit gets fucking. Oh right, is this banded? I forgot it gets scrappy. So I just wasted. That was very stupid of me. Truth be told. Um. So what I'm gonna do is, cause the the fish should be. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I think, cause I don't wanna. If I'm thinking, if I wanna take a brave bird versus, cause my Volk should pull this off. So we go to. Leviathan here. We force fish in sack mortal spinner. And uh, yeah, we force fish in sack mortal spinner. He's gonna likely dark pulse lock. I don't know why he'd fire move lock. He fire move locked. Okay, I expected him to dark pulse lock. Um, mm. I could go among us. I mean, um, Breloom. Yeah, we'll go Breloom. Mock punch this. Because we're going to lower in Volcarona. He actually asked for the Gallade. Okay. Um, what would Gallade use on Volk? A psychic move. That's, uh, Mock punch did good damage. But as I said, I want to sweep him with Volk. I just don't know what these things do. And I'm not, not feeling confident about uh, just Spore. I don't think... Okay, I'm faster than him. That's actually really unexpected. So I can, now I can offer Dragapult. Because uh, Dragapult covers Corviknight and positions for fish. And um, with a Fire Blast, I'll be able to take on the, the Volcarona before it can do shit to me. If he defogs... No. Fuck! Bro. That's really annoying, man. That's really fucking annoying, man. Because now I can't kill him. I would have killed him before. Yeah. Now he gets to defog and my Sash is gone. Okay. Uh, Beer Bird Roost. I doubt his last move is. That's frustrating. Um, that is a problem. Okay. So he goes to you. To you. Fire move. I don't need my Breloom anymore. Let's say Fire Move locks, though. Yeah, let's actually stack King Gambit. Um, fire move lock. We mock punch here because his Breloom's asleep. I mean, his Breloom's asleep. So you can see how the, the rocks garg gargle thing, if we never got up, because he should be probably helmet here, which is irrelevant. I mean, I don't know why. He, even if he goes Volk, he's not going to set up. Um, he's not going to set up. Uh, it would be fool. I mean, he could try to set up, but I don't think he has the luxury to. And he's slower than my Volk. He does try to set up. I mean, I don't. Actually, I don't blame him because that's the only way he could win is if he set up and hope that I didn't have Rock Tomb. 
Yeah, because I mean, otherwise, my Volk's at full. If you kill my Breloom and my Volk sets up next to yours, you lose. If you don't Quiver Dance and my Dragapult gets to come back in, you get dropped. Uh, so it's, it's it, you know, but I don't think... I could have swept him earlier, depending on what the Quiver Dance last move is. I mean, I doubt it's going to be... It could be Brave Bird. Body Press Brave Bird, no U-turn. Um, I made a foolish play with the the bird, thinking it was going to my gold angle wall. It so I completely ignored the fact that it said Scrappy as an option. Why wouldn't you run Scrappy if it has that option? So this guy's almost 1800. Um, so I know he's been grinding, trying to get. Well, actually, he may have just already gotten there. But obviously, we want to take his points right now, aggressively, um, mercilessly. And uh, that's just the nature of the ladder. So, um, hazards plus ghost spam is very dangerous. Um, his T spikes is very dangerous. I've given the mortal spin is gone. My Volcarona annihilates him. My Breloom is a bitch with hazards up. My King Gambit, it doesn't do shit. It kind of does, but it doesn't because of his Don fan. So, hmm. What to do, what to do. What to do, what to do. Because offensively, his Goldengo is a problem. So, I'm going to... If he's the only way he could have speed is if he's scarfed. If he's not scarfed, this is the worst case scenario. Nice. So, so he is scarf makes it rain. The question is, do you leave this in? Uh, if you leave it in, and I go Volker on and Quiver Dance, do you just straight up lose? I don't kill his Glamour, I don't think. That's the only thing. And he will try to mortal spin. Uh, so what what positioning works for me? So I'm going to just actually drag a pull. I know he's going to switch out, but I just don't know to what. Great Tusk makes sense. Um, I figured he'd reposition. I just wasn't sure to what. And this allows me to fire off a Choice Specs Draco Meteor. Nothing on his team can guard against it. This might actually get one. Not even close. He fucking crit me, man. I don't think that would have killed me. I didn't need Dragapult to win, mind you. But I don't. He's, he's max for death. Um, which is important to know because that means Volcarona would not have likely killed him from full when usually would. And uh, Stress Scarf, my Breloom is a huge issue. A huge, huge issue. Uh, so I have to, and then my, my, uh, this thing is, is becoming a real problem now because of that. So what I can do here is bullet seed straight up. Golden go coming in. It's not going to enjoy a bullet seed. Uh, if I get some good rolls and my rolls have been absolute trash today, uh, as <clears throat> mm, I'm going to have to go to the overlord. I'm not going to lie to you. If he does focus blast. If he did focus blast there, I would have um, likely swept him with Volk here. Well, actually, no, because the Dondozo. I need more. Let's say, so King Qu this coming in. I'm, I'm annoyed by the Glamora if he goes. So he goes Dondozo. Cleave, what's this thing's ability? He has body press on this. I want the Dondozo weakened. For my um, choice guard of Shadow Ball. Can he guard against Shadow Ball? He cannot guard against Shadow Ball. Um, so he doubles to this, risking the speed side. I'll go back to Overlord and just go for the. Um... Okay, the Chiyu makes sense. Uh, so I may not get spikes. Do I need it to? Do I need spikes to win? I think after rocks plus one. I think Glamora dies at plus one. Giga. Yeah. 
know, you, you obviously farm the box here. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting them. I'm not getting them. It's a shame. Um, Cause I can go Dengo him as well. Alistair Glamora. That's a really good Glamora switch. It's completely irrelevant, but I see the vision. Now, this is a big turn because if he mortal spins, he gets rid of my rocks, which I can't afford because he gets rid of rocks and breaks my sash. Um, now, the Glamora being weakened is great for my Volcarona, so I'm going to go to Gold Angle. If he goes for hazards, that sucks because I would have had my Breloom in. Which would have been a huge issue for him. But Breloom on it, us in and of itself is pretty problematic. Like Breloom, once Gold and Gold leaves, just destroys my opponent. Uh, Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball here. I think that kills, doesn't kill. I take the Earth Power damage. I don't think that really matters in this game. Gold and Gold shouldn't be taking any hits. Um, again, the Glamour Axe, so I should be able to Volcarona him. Um, I, what I'm, one thing I am concerned about is him terrestrializing and what he decides to terrestrialize into. So, obviously, uh, Overlord dies here. But this, yeah, so I give up, I give up Goldengo here. Because what I'm thinking, because we forced to Chi you up with the Mach Punch. If he even goes to Goldengo, then I, uh, if he goes to Goldengo, then I force him to Shadow Ball Lock, goes Annihilate. Did I already spore something? No. Yeah, I don't know why he went Annihilate, man. Uh, if I get the rolls, I'm in a really good spot. I just have to get them. Realm is a huge issue. If I go to... I give up my scarf here. If he wakes up, no, this is fine. No matter what happens, um, because I need this. I need for him to not be able to terrestrialize into water and destroy me. Because uh, I think no matter what. Unless the Dondoza is max special defense and can take my Volcom, but I can terrestrialize and Giga Drain that, so I won't even go down to the Wave Crasher. That's what I'm really thinking about. Um, and if I get some good Bullet Seed rolls, okay, excellent, because he's he has to go to the the Goldengo to Shadow Ball Lock, right? Do I sack my Goldengo? Yeah, sack my um, my Goldengo. Because my Breloom beats everything I saw on his team. So he might even switch this out because he doesn't want Volcarona killing it. Volcarona kills is he lose to Breloom. Um, so we're going to Quiver Dance here. Yeah. So that makes sense that he didn't give it up. So we just Giga Drain. Knock this out. I used to be, it's funny, I used to be Terra, um, Terra Grass. So it goes to the Dondos. As I said, I'll just Giga Drain. And terrestrialize into fairy. So if he goes, he lives and goes through wave crash, electric, huh? Okay, curse. Let me see if he dies to fire blast. Whoa, no. Fuck. It's doing 35%. Shoot. Let me see, 40%, okay. Please, Volk. What? He fucking crit me. Arrgh! I am not a water, I'm not a fire type, so that is not super effective. It's a fucking Don Dozo, so it wouldn't have killed me. And if I just hit my two fire blasts after that, I killed him. So he had to pull us. Man! Dude had to get everything fucking right there to win. Ugh. Had to pull liquidation, had to get a crit, had to hope I missed. It is what it is. It is what it is. So let's grab another one. Um, I've never seen terrestrialized curse electric, so at least we learned that, right? That's an upside. 
Um, a lot of that game I played around, and it's funny because his court, he wasn't supposed to even have Hazard gone. I think the Corbin at D5, is that the same game? No, no, that was last, that was a different game. How did I lose my Dragon Pole this game? I don't remember how I lost my Dragon Pole. Because I'm like, where is my Dragon Pole down? Yeah, you know, um, Volk would have won there. Well, I guess we have to hit our fire blast, right? Um, but the way the rolls were going, it seemed it was somewhere between maybe 35 and 45. So we'd have to KO the Dondos. They'd have to pull of one of three moves, liquidation. And um, yeah, Terra Electric, I, I didn't see that coming. Very cool though. Um, so we'll keep that in our toolbox for the future. Uh, Volcarona wins. Literally. Yeah. You have to drag a bolt to try to U-turn out. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna, this one seems pretty simplistic. Uh, phase one rocks. Um, the Gambitster specs. Anybody else expected us would have dropped there? Um, we pivot to Breloom here on this Corviknight, put something to sleep. We didn't have to make that double, but Breloom is actually Breloom's damn good. Now I was gonna say Breloom's not necessary. It's not necessary, but it's damn good. Uh, it's fucking good. It's freaking good. And now we golden go and shut down another mark. I guess we could have kept this, this, this scarf to be true. <laughs> But I think um, in this game, I mean, the Scarf is allows me to outspeed Dragapult, but I'm just not getting past the Gastrodon. Okay, so it actually gives me the Corby, which is horrible for him. It's horrible for him, because he gets the Gastrodon has to come in now. Mm hmm. Shadow Ball, Miascarda, or. Miascarda or uh, Miascarda coming in is a little annoying. I'm gonna make it rain this turn. Uh, the reason I made it rain wasn't necessarily because I was predicting the Miascarda in like some, you know, old great prediction kind of way. It's more the worst case scenario there would be Miascarda coming in. If he Gastrodon stayed in and burned his sleep time and I made it rain, I just go to whatever the fuck I wanted next time. Um, He's actually pretty susceptible to my, 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 um, this thing now. Uh, I want to be careful about that Sylveon. So Breloom has to be kept at the utmost. Sylveon naturally outspeeds the Overlord, so, uh, I think I'm starting to try to get greedy with Glamora. My fire move too, truth be told. Yeah. So I actually get to keep Glamora. It's a question of what I want to... Dragapult makes sense. I don't need the... Uh, Sylveon. Even if he left it in. So, hmm. What do I want to do here? Breloom is going to be an issue for him. If he wishes, that's fine. Maybe heal bell would be annoying, but the spike is gonna kind of wipe her voice. Yeah, could a mortal spin, but I think with the with the now nah, at this point, gold and go with the hazards is just a fucking menace. I might have protect. Yeah, I mean, but I've shown you protect make it rain. Um, so protect hyper voice <clears throat> probably wish calm mind that we're gonna make it rain. We can't have this calm minding. It wished. So obviously it goes for protect here as we goes to go to Overlord. <clears throat> so now Volcarona can set up. I'll have to hit the Fire Blast, which is a little concerning. Well, because I'm Terra Fairy, I avoid Sucker Punches. What's my ability? I think it gets stronger with every damn something, something, or just Cleave Cloud here, or whatever that shit is. Um, 
you may have U-turn, in which case, positionally, Dragapult's just amazing, yeah. I could have left it in there, but as I said, positionally, Dragapult's just phenomenal. Um, so we go Golden, go here, he Combine's just wise, that was a good Combine there. Uh, which, which is why I have my Breloom still at full. And I have my... Because he should go for Wish here. I don't think even with a Combine he's going to knock out my Supreme Overlord here. So it protects 206 Special Attack. I mean 206 Special Defense. A defense here. I could Terrify it flying. Do I need to Terrestrialize anything else? I mean my Volk wins. But if this just dies and Breloom gets whack rolls on the bullet seed I'm in trouble if I just terra f terra steal and kill him then his dog thing is a still a little concerning hmm uh, Terra flying and just kill him. Cause he might protect. I don't want to terrestrialize this, and I might not even die to the hyper voice, cause this thing is so bulky. But it's hyper voice from Sylveon, you know, and he's boosted. So he protects first to see what I'll do. Mm. I'm gonna bank on him living. Yes, I, I knew this thing was dumb bulky. So I'm like, I've seen people run a ton of split up. This one happens to not have a ton. I think Storm ran max HP max. <clears throat> but because it's HP so heavy, I figured it would uh it would eat that. I think the, the Spadef variants are likely better. Like for this structure of a team so I can take some hits, but yeah, this might be our last game. Uh for the live. I don't want it to be too because we we're too far off. If we didn't lose to that guy with the with the Dondozo. I likely would have just gone up to 1800 in this life, but for us to get to 1800 now, we'll take a ton of battles and we'll make the live an hour long, which I don't mind, but uh, today in particular, it's already four or something, so I gotta get this rendered and edited and all that. So, also, uh, working Breloom is amazing, man. Uh, I've completely slept on him within this tier. So Glamora, Glamora, Glamora. We're gonna go Loom beating cheeks. Uh this stuff is so damn annoying. Supreme Overlord beating cheeks. Dark Pole's not doing this shit with this Tingla around. Volk is the most dangerous mod, but we're gonna have to overwhelm the Tingla, so. <laughs> Um, Rotom seems like an odd decision. One, it's a speed tie, which is weird. Right? Who would have guessed Rotom with speed tie or anything other than Rotom? Uh, if it's a speed tie, right, you might just. But you're also risking Hydro Pump. Um, yeah, let's go on the let's go on the offensive. Full switch knocks me out. I want the switch initiative. Because Loom is such a bitch. Like, you don't want Loom putting anything to sleep. So he goes to Sheen Pao. Uh, which implies to me that he has uh, a fighting move. Because otherwise. Um, I mean, it's heavy duty boots. Otherwise. Mm, part of me didn't want to go Loom yet. What I can do is just mm, the spore to play here. Is Rock Tomb better? Spore is better because if he goes to the the Glamora. Actually, I forgot about the fucking Goldengo. I was like, there's a reason. I'm like, why? Why does the spore make like spore felt off as a decision? But I couldn't put my finger on why the Goldengo. That's right. That's fine though because um, as I mentioned, Volcarona is the goat. And it's not life war of Sheen Pao, so it makes it even better. Right? So terrestrializing um, is 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 a supreme excellence, unless he goes for focus last year. Tricks. I figured that might have been an option. I just wasn't sure if he was choice scarfed, as now he's life orb, uh, and then in which case you would opt for a life orb shadow ball if you have it. 
I mean, uh, yeah, life orb, focus blast. If you have, it, if you want to risk that, if you don't want to risk it, you're going to go to maybe Ting Lao. <sighs> Seems like the risking it type. Um, yeah, sure did risk it. Didn't work out for him though. Uh, so this allows us to U-turn. The reason I'm U-turning is that even if he left it in, I don't want Ting Lao coming in for free. Even if he left it in, it would have put us in a phenomenal position. Now, Breloom, I keep thinking this thing is part grass. But if we, uh, he's likely gonna leave this in, uh, one, because he can't switch into it. But two, he likely leave this in uh, from a standpoint of, okay, if I can get these hazards up or break this fucking annoying ass Breloon sash, I'll be in a decent spot. Or he could say, oh, fuck it, I'm gonna give up my Glamora, which I don't mind. Uh, it only affects Dragapult and the Breloom on the field. Obviously, Volcarona doesn't care. And if Volk, if the, the Glamora, uh, his health gets whittled down. Well, I suppose the, you know what I didn't think about the, the, the Brodom beat some max pedef. Please get some good hits loom You've been on my ass today. Fuck loom You let him get spikes That's your sash It's your fucking sash man. You've not been killing the fucking prey today That's the fucking sash right there Which is a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a big thing right there so she said. Um, obviously, Gold Angle dies to hazards now. <sighs> Personally, I had Focus Blast if I was my opponent. Um, Ting Lao dies. Yes. Gold, um, Gold Angle dies. Yes. I could. Use this as an opportunity to get my Volcron in his quiver dance. And I just don't know how bulky Glamora is. So I'm like, does that die to a Giga Drain? Because if he mortal spins me, it's a little annoying. Um, Overlord does not speed shit anyway with the Choice Scarf, but its bulk is useful. Uh, doesn't matter if Loom's at full. It does for Sucker Punch. What we're gonna do is go to King Gambi here. He does Focus Blast, misses. We Sucker Punch every time. Um, he's gonna Shadow Ball now. Because uh, if I pivot back to Dragon Pool, you put yourself in a horrible position. Um, actually, maybe this is, is even folk Sucker Punch make sense. I mean, what would. Uh, Cause that would give she and Paula a setup opportunity. He shot a ball in here, hundred percent, or going for something that um, not a cleave cloud. No, no, no. Cause I'm trying to not get him to get the setup. The loom never goes down to fucking. Mm, yeah, I'm not feeling that. Uh, I'd rather Rotom get the free switch in. I didn't think he'd go hard Rotom on this. But I'd rather roll him get the free switch in. This thing doesn't get defog anymore, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then Dragonfold's positioning is just phenomenal. Goldengo is fodder. So one of those. I, I wish I went for the dart move because, as I said, if this is like Max Fidef fucking roll him. I don't know why he went for Hydro Pump. We're shot of balling 10 times out of 10 here. Uh, probably should have Draco here. No, no. He has Protect. So I doubt he has, I doubt his last move is Thunder Wave. I'd just be really, that's what I'm afraid of. Uh, the random Max for Death Thunder Wave. So I do wish I went for that dark move. So Golden Go dies to Hazards. He goes to the POW. Um, as I said, Loom never dies to Sucker Punch. So I'll give up King Gambit here. Uh, he crunches hard. Question is, do you have? It's relevant whether you have Sacred Sword. It would have killed me anyway. So we're just gonna go for Cleave, Cloud, Cle whatever the fuck that shit is called. Um, now he's at. Now Houston, he has a problem with this young. I'm still Choice Scarf actually. I just it just dawned on me that I'm still Choice Scarf. But Houston has a problem with this Loom right now because I guess he could risk going to Galade, but he likely sacked Ting Lao. Best case, he goes Glamour. No, Rotom is what I want. Dealt with, and I suppose if this goes, then my gold angle can just have its way. Well, not really, because the Rotom's gonna do some weird shit. 
uh, if go, see how if, if Rodham just if uh, Breloom just hit all the bullet seeds to kill the he actually does go Rodham that's best case for us um, I don't know why he went Rodham even if he's faster than us uh, this gives um, the Volcarona Terra Steel, huh? What is he gonna do? Willows? Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. So he uses his Terra move, his Terrestrialization. Uh, that does mean that now my Volcarona can use this as setup fodder. But I don't want him Volt switching. So every. Ah, I don't know why I bullet. I didn't mean the bullet seed there. But even if, again, even if he knocks me out, that's kind of best case because, mm, no, I actually, I misclicked there with the fucking mock fight. I really, that was a, I don't want to, he might vol switch. Did I already spore something? Why didn't I just spore? Didn't I, I didn't spore anything yet. The gold angle is in. Why didn't I just spore? Yeah, that was a misplay. <laughs> Why did I just spore the rotom? Now he gets to go to Ting Lao and, and fucking Sucker Punch, but I spore this and I, yeah, I don't know why I didn't just spore the first time. I completely forgot because I, I guess I'm thinking about another game. Um, yeah, you still die. There's no way. Wow, there is a way. Houston, Breloom is so fucking disgusting. And I figured this thing would get the speed boost. So, um,. We spore again because he's probably gonna try to set up now. Because this thing naturally is naturally struggles with both um, Goldengo and Volcarona. I want his speed boost gone. I don't need so he just forfeits. I was gonna say I don't need um my Volcarona could win, my Goldengo could win. So what my game plan there at that point was since the last two are fodder. Uh, I'd go to Goldengo and terrestrialize into whatever it was. What terror type was it? Fighting? Nah, I can't terror fighting. Because if you randomly move blast, that's a waste of Goldengo. I think I'd just make it rain, honestly. I don't think he could kill me in one hit, even if he had knockoff. Uh, if that didn't work out, then I could go to Volcarona. And, uh, terrestrialize into. Mm, no, it, it's hard to say, because. Uh, I could terrestrialize in the fairy. This should get one shot. I just don't know this thing is bulk. Terrestrialize fairy max plus shot, special attack, bowl, super effective, terror blast. I'd hope it killed. If it didn't, I lost. But again, he'd have to knock out my gold angle from 88 with knockoff. He'd have to somehow be able to kill the Volcarona. I don't know how he would. Like even if I terra fairy, I guess he unless he fairy type moved me, I don't know. But that would just get you destroyed by a quiver dance if that's what you're fearing. But um, where seventeen fifty, as I said, it'd be taking a whole other, it'd bring this life to an hour to get me to eighteen hundred in this life. So we're just gonna keep going, um, bit by bit, and uh, yeah, this is a fun team. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Again, links in the description down below to the team. Join the academy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.